Vector Drawing Tutorial Want this? If so, let's begin. Throughout the video, you can skip some of the parts if you already know the basics, and you can pause anytime. First, the vector basic parts. To get started click the plus button. Then select the vector drawing feature. Uses to move and manipulate points. Choosing which area would you like to add the point. Move another location to another then to add points to form lines and even shapes. Can also add points by double tapping. Uses to exit the editing feature. Uses to add contour and lock contours. Click to lock the contour or to make the shape closed. These functions aren't available except when you add two or more contours. No, I won't discuss in detail in the add contour for along with the difference because our only objective and for sure is how we know how vector drawing is used in making animations. Let's proceed. Uses to curve lines. Select the point you want to curve and click the curve menu. The main point still have the same function. Move the same location to another. The two square points function is to widen and lessen the curve. Also changes the curve shape. Observe these two buttons and observe what happens if you use each of them. Focus on the contour shape and the buttons. This part shows the lines, curves, and points you made. Also uses to select and manipulate points. Uses to remove points. To remove a point, click the existing point you want to remove then press the button. This time, this uses to add points. To add a point, Select the area you want to add the point then press the plus button. These tools came a lot of handy when it comes to making animations, backgrounds, and in masking objects as well. Second, contour copying a base. Press the plus button, go to media and select a gacha body part image. Click the vector drawing feature and start making the contour. Make sure in making the contour shape, it will look identical to the image. In making a perfect head contour, tips are provided.
Third, keyframe points. Add bookmarks in certain timestamps to guide you in where you place keyframes in animating. How I made the head move right to left. Let's proceed. Select all points. Edit shape to animate. Press the keyframe button in your selected points, which you selected all, including add keyframes by the square points as well. Duplicate the head image to proceed dot in animating the head to the left. Then flip horizontally. Then adjust. Go back to your vector layer and go to the second bookmark. Select all points again and add keyframes once again including the square points. Do the same thing in the previous bookmark, copy the duplicated image head facing left. Once again, adjust then don't forget to make the contour similar to the image. If it seems like the center is off, you can always adjust it. If so, add a bookmark again, but this time, in the between the two bookmarks. Note, instead of doing it manually, you can always add a front face image to serve as a guide. You can add to or more bookmarks and movements you like, again, it's all up to you. See, it moves right to left. Lastly, the final designing. Go to your vector layer and go to border and shadow. Custom change the stroke size that fits the best. Then select the color border you want. If done, go to color and fill. Select the color you want to use for the fill. Click on this menu to apply color shading. Click on this. Now, you can choose one of these three. You can adjust where you locate the dark portion and light portion. Then select the color fill you want in the left box, and its darker version on the other box. Finally done, check, adjust, and finished. You can apply margins like these red lines. Thanks for watching.